Sam Stock and Menachem Edel. One, an intelligent, sophisticated, stuck up man of the world. The other, a kind, trusting, overly sincere wimp of a man. <laughs> Sent by their Rebbe to Manitoba, Canada, <laughs> on an apparent mission of Harpatis HaTorah on a grand scale. <laughs> Unbeknownst to them, instead of the trip being their first step toward Ruchnius and self-fulfillment, it is, in reality, their final step <laughs> into the Twilight Zone. <laughs>
you think you're so perfect, Mr. Cool Guy? <laughs> <laughs> well, let me tell you something. You know, people are sick and tired of you and your, hey, jerk, how's it going? Hey. <laughs> or, those, or those sick rank outs of yours. I can't stand it! Hey, uh, and I said, you know, people will not tell you you're good looking for nothing. You got half plenty. <laughs> or, hey, and I said, hey, and I said, you know, in my book, you're one great guy. Of course, I'm into a lot of fiction. <laughs> Don't let anyone tell you you're a nobody's fool. You're a freelancer. <laughs> <laughs> you especially about your cynicism. You're so cynical. I am not cynical. I just happen to have a very critical eye. <laughs> I wish I knew which one it was. <laughs> How can I not be cynical? Especially when a guy like you is I mean, really, think about it. You've been in this yeshiva for 20 years now. <laughs> and still, every single time you have a shy, no matter what it is, no matter how big or how little, you call up the yeshiva and ask, Rebbe, this Rebbe, uh, during said outside the center, it's ridiculous to it. I mean, how can a mask like you, Stamazoi, call up the yeshiva middle of center? I'll tell you one thing, it's better than calling sports ball. <laughs> Right now, and get it straight, because I'm not moving. 
This will be my pleasure. <laughs> Well, 
Let me speak on his behalf. Oh, yes, yes, yes. He'll be my mail. It's your share. <laughs> this fellow for many years. And it's true. It's true. He is a deceitful, low-down, treacherous creature. Look at that face. He's a, he's a harmless thing. Really. Just give him a break. Give him a break? There is no way in the world you can possibly convince me. Give <laughs> that man a break. You'll never, ever do it. But it's certainly worth a try. <laughs> All right, listen, you. I'll get your stuff out of here and get moving. You're very nice. You You're very kind. <laughs> you know, I could have get, gotten fired for what I just did. Why? Because you were so rude to him? No, because I just let 150 pounds of pure dope through. <laughs> Give it to you this time. It was a great 
idea that you should put the families in another section. This way, you and me will be able to learn together a Right. Uh, do it is. Have a headset, please. <laughs> a headset? Shmuel, don't tell me that you're going to listen to that. Swedish. Music. Music. Echoed it. Music. Like that. Michael Jackson. <laughs>
leave that kid alone. I'm not enjoy the fly. What do you want from the kid? I'm surprised at you. Have you forgot the purpose of our mission? We are to go out and bring Torah to those who are thirsting and give them from the well springs of Torah. Give me five minutes with him and he'll be a different person. Be my guest. Should I do? Put your hat on. 
on one hand, is a shalav gezel shia. But on the other hand, he might want me to wake him up so he can answer my questions. <laughs> what should I do? <laughs> Over having a frame in the Rosh Hashiva are for a shallows. Thank you. 
guys look familiar. Aren't you the two rabbis from Chavit Chaim? Yeah, that's right. But uh, how do you know we've become a train? I, I don't think you've ever met before. Oh, that's simple. You know, us Kobus Chaim guys, <laughs> we have a certain train type. <laughs> right, 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 right. We, we, also, have, we, we also have a certain train. <laughs>
I'm sorry if I gave you the wrong impression, but the figure of 70 was our projected goal. After you two were going to recruit additional students. See, at the present time, we have nobody. <laughs> <laughs> well, there are no kids in the school. <laughs> oh, what's happening? <laughs> but don't worry, Rabbi. There shouldn't be any problem with enrollment as long as the school's charter stays conservative. Why? In no time at all, you'll get plenty of kids. Shmuel, the school's conservative. Shmuel, I don't know if I want to go through with it. Enough, enough. Let's, let's pull ourselves together here. Remember, remember, all is not laws. We have that guaranteed contract for Mr. Richman. Say, didn't you get the message that was left with his daughters? It now appears that Mr. Wolfman changed his mind and left all his money uh, uh, to the Copper Sky branch of Adam. There's no money! Conservatives are girls! They're no kids! No! I, uh, I uh, think we have to give this matter certain uh, consideration. Go ahead, punk. <laughs> 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 